I know what you're sitting there thinking. Bones, you're really good at redstone. Yeah? Well, today we're going to show you how to be really good at redstone. So today we're going to be showing you how to build a hidden 1x2 piston door with a hidden activation system. So as you guys can see, you guys can't really tell where the door is, and you guys can't tell where the activation system is. There's no button, no lever, no thing like that, and all you have to do is come over here, break this block and replace it, and the door opens. You can walk on through, break this block, and replace it, and the door closes. And if you walk all the way through, I have a chest right here showing you guys what it takes to build this thing. 11 redstone, 2 observers, 2 repeaters, 3 sticky pistons, 11 blocks of choice for your redstone, and a couple stacks of decorative blocks. To get things started, you're going to make sure that you have a 6x6x6 six by six by six area to build this thing in. And as long as you have that, let's go ahead and get started by chucking in our sticky pistons. We're going to come on down here and go ahead and chuck in a temporary sticky piston just like that. And then put our permanent one in there, just like so. And go ahead and put your block of choice on there just like that. Next, we're going to come up two blocks and then one more. That's going to be the stone that we're going to have. We're going to break these two air blocks out right here. We're going to come up two more blocks just like that. Break the middle one out. Come down here and place a sticky piston on the bottom of that one and break the one on top. So now you should be have uh, two air blocks in between with two stone blocks and your pistons on either side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and chuck in some of our decorative blocks. We're going to come in right over here. We're going to come over two blocks just like that and come over one more and place in an observer. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to chuck a, a block in just like that so your block doesn't actually get lost when you break it because that's what's going to activate the door. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place in a temporary block just like right there, and I'm going to chuck in a piston just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our redstone blocks of choice. Go ahead and make that one a different one, just so that way you know that you not to break it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of that one just like so, and we're going to come over here just like that and just like that. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in uh, our block of choice right there, and we're also going to put another observer facing in there to that one, and that's going to go ahead and make that one fire go ahead and put that block down there just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run underneath here. We're going to come down here just like that, take out that temporary block. You're going to run this over here just like so, and run that right into that piston just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run redstone in just like so, and put a repeater just on one tick just like that, just like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press, uh, put uh, some uh, redstone just like that, and come over here and do kind of the same thing. We're going to come right over there just like that, and come on up here just like so. And I think this is all going to be decorative blocks from here, here on out. So this is going to be your, your wall right here, okay? And then also you're going to have some decorative blocks here on the front, just like that, okay? And let's go ahead and fill this, fill this up here. Let's go ahead and make this look a little bit more natural here. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's go ahead and stop our redstone on up, just like this. We're going to put a repeater in, just like that, and go ahead and put in your redstone, just like so, just like that. There you go. All right, so now we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and box this in and make this look completely good right here. Let's go ahead and get that all looking good, and we can go ahead and place in the rest of our decorative blocks right here. All right, and then uh, you can kind of make this look natural as you please. There's really no right or wrong way to make the front of it look. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave that to you guys. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to chuck in the rest of our tunnel here, okay? We're going to go ahead and chuck in the rest of our decorative blocks, just like so. Go ahead and get those all in place, just like that. There you go. And you can add some lighting in it, too, if you if you need to. In fact, I, I do recommend it. So we're going to go ahead and put some lighting in there so that we don't have any mob spawning or anything like that. And that should keep mob spawning out of the entire vicinity, just that one block. So we should do pretty good. And so we're looking pretty good at this moment. And I actually think we're... We're just about done. I think we're pretty much there. Let's go ahead and check out if our system works. Let's go ahead and break our system. We're actually inside right now, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, was that the uh, correct one? Yeah, it was. Let's go ahead and put a uh, stone block underneath that one, because like I said, you don't want to lose your block when you break it. And when we pl place that one back down, it should put that back together. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. So let's go ahead and see if it works from the front as well. 
Uh, Alright, so we're going to need some uh, decorative block right there too. So you're going to need some like decorative blocks around here just like that. And as you can see, we've got uh, two blocks over from the side. Let's go ahead and see. I think it's that one right there, the third one over. So you have two blocks in between just like that. So if you replace that one, you can walk on through. Go ahead and break that one right there and then replace it and walk on through. There you go. Piston door is all done. It only took about <laughs> five minutes to actually build it. So that's pretty good. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, please remember to subscribe. And as always, share this video with all your friends. I'm Broken Bones, and I will see you guys next time.